What is going on guys? It is your boy Rich coming back with another video, man. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, supporting, and showing mad love lately. Blowing up the comments with support, so thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it, because that's what keeps us thriving, keeps me motivated. It just helps us see that we're doing good, building towards what we want to. Slowly but surely, we won't get there, recognition's gonna come. And yeah, it's all because of you guys and your support. But yes, as you could tell, it's all out still. I haven't been able to do anything because the motor's at Barry's. If you guys checked out the previous videos, still waiting on him. Well, he's waiting on parts. Today is Tuesday and he's supposed to be getting the parts in tomorrow. And he was hoping and saying maybe Friday or Saturday we're going to be going picking it up. And it should be all good to go. Then we'll start putting it back in together for like the fourth or time, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> he said this time around he's going to paint the block and... I believe this is the color he's gonna go with, uh, the aluminum. Got myself one from O'Reilly's because I'm gonna be painting this transmission and it's gonna be matching up with the block. I believe it's the same color. Because he said he's gonna be painting the block, I decided to, you know, match it up with the transmission. I kinda gave it a scrub down already and whatnot. Should be pretty good to go. Um, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna go about this. Leaving it on the ground is like the best choice right there. I'm gonna have to get up under here a bit. Of course, there's some fucking transmission fluid. Hold on, I'm gonna have to assess this. All right, so my setup, um, I don't know how else to go about it really. So I'm not really like I'm flat, kind of lifted up so I have a little bit more space to go underneath. And yeah, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna get where the axle goes into this side. Maybe if I get it painted, then I'll let it dry for a little while. Then I'll get it on its side and I'll just get that little area afterwards. I'm gonna go get the leaf blower and blow off that real quick or just go get the air, little air compressor and blow that off and go from there. So, I don't know exactly how this is gonna come out. There's nothing to it but to do it, All right? So I don't know if it was best if maybe I took off shifter selector. Fuck it, right? All right, y'all. So this is kind of what we're working with right now. Pretty shiny. I think I need to touch up this area a little bit. I don't know. Came out pretty good. Being my first time and all, it didn't come out too bad. I don't know if I did proper techniques, whatever it may be, but we're learning. Yeah. What do you guys think? How do you think this came out? You know, it's super bright right now. So let me know what you guys think. Maybe I should have took that off and left the shift selector, you know, non-painted, but I don't know. That wrist strength back in the gym. Another addition to the video. Hopefully you can hear me. It's real windy out here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. There's not a lot going on with car wise because my motor's back at Barry's and I'm just waiting on all that. But you did see me paint the transmission and I believe in the beginning of this video you guys watched me jet ski for the first time and now enjoying the vibes. So here we are again enjoying the vibes. It's a good time showing you guys the good vibes and having a good time because I don't know what else to do within this video. So <laughs> yeah, here we are.
All right, y'all, so we are back in the workshop. You see my fire t-shirt. If you guys like this tee and you want me to you know, produce some more and put it up on the website so you guys can potentially cop it, let me know. I'm trying to work on little different designs, but it's hard trying to fit everything in and learn Photoshop and things like that. I'm trying to learn. Yeah, we're back in the workshop. Just want to show you, you know, the final product. It's painted. Tea bag it a little bit. Let's take a poop on it, fart. Who knows? It's like, if you guys haven't checked out, go check out the subscriber featuring video. You guys have been killing it on the support. Really shocked me. In a day, got like 1.5K views basically and over 100 likes. So you guys really blew it out the park. Way more than I expected. I should have been done this, but my platform's growing. You guys have been subscribing and I greatly appreciate it. Showing me mad love and comments saying keep on going. You love the content. And I just love you guys for supporting and watching me what I do. Gets me excited seeing, you know, that this video has done good. Can't wait to do more and different categories and keep on trying to make it better and up the enthusiasm. So stay tuned for part two, episode two, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be another TSX one and try to go through all my subscribers things. And I'm also trying to just do overall kind of ones. But yeah, you guys have been killing it. Thank you so much for all the support. Not a lot going on with the TSX wise because the motor's out. Barry just received the parts today and he's gonna get cracking tomorrow to put it together. Friday or Saturday, we should go pick it up. So that's gonna be a later on video. So make sure you guys stay tuned, subscribe, like, comment if you want. Thanks for supporting your boy, it's Rish, and I'm out. Cause we never take a day off. Work around the clock, my engineer getting paid off. Rock like Ace up, like the weed and take off. So high, cannot see.